Hi, my name is Robert Dixon. I'm a resident of Costa Mesa for, gosh, since 1992 or 93. As a former planning commissioner, I've been in a bunch of committees and kind of got involved because I'm passionate about the city and I, I just wanted to kind of briefly speak about our path forward. Now, each and every one of us who have kids in the district understands that we have passionate professional teachers and administrators. We see them interact with our children, we see their, their dedication, and we see how much they really do want to be helping in this situation. However, an eight-year-old child or a 10-year-old child or a 12-year-old child does not have the perspective that I do or most other adults do about the fact that this will get better, this will go on. I've heard children ask me if their friends are dead. We can't go play with them. We can only see them for 30 minutes in the morning on a Zoom call or 45 minutes, because apparently that's public education now. And then we can go play on the street, we can go out in the park, but they're not interacting with their friends except for on a computer screen. And, you know, I'm sure everybody else has seen this in their homes, no matter how much extra time and extra attention and extra, you know, uh, love and care you focus on your children in this time, they want to see their friends. They want to be kids, right? You know, school is not daycare, never should be, but school is where they see their friends. And if you're going to not let them see their friends in the park, if you're not going to let them see their friends in the neighborhood, if you're under this blanket stay-at-home order, you should at least then examine the epidemiological necessity of closing the schools. We already know, and this isn't something, this isn't some partisan thing. We know from the data available from the CDC, the rates of people who are actually stricken by this, this virus. It's very few, if any, children under 18 in the entire United States. I think there's been one fatality, if that. So we already know that children deal with this a lot better than others. And instead of just sitting back, you know, we got an email from the school with a video from uh, Deputy Superintendent uh, Russell Lee Sung. He's a great guy, I'm sure. But basically, in May, he comes out and says that this is 65, 66 days into the lockdown. Comes out and says, here's our plan for coming up with a plan for what we're going to do in the fall, in August 24th. In order to keep our students safe and staff safe, to continue student learning, we will be developing a comprehensive plan. Now, we don't know if we're going to do distance learning. We don't know if we're going to do a combination. We don't know if we're going to have kids back on campus. But we're working on it, and we're going to come up with a plan. Well, it's June. And that's a month and a half away. Two months or half, two and a half months away. You should have had a plan. You should have had a plan before this even started. Unfortunately, no one can determine today exactly what school will look like on August 24th when we open. Natural disasters happen, earthquakes happen, tsunamis happen. You should have had a plan. We have a 325 or $30 million district with a superintendent making $450,000 a year or some crazy thing like that. I know some of the people in the administration of the district, some of the smartest people I know. So where's the leadership? Why didn't we have a plan? Here are some details of the structure of how we plan to do that over the next several weeks. Specifically, this structure consists of a superintendent's advisory committee. I have friends in districts in South County and Irvine whose kids are doing interactive online school all day. Not Zoom for an hour or a half an hour or 45 minutes and worksheets. So I understand the teachers are dealing with the restrictions placed in, by the administration and I understand the administration is dealing with statewide mandates and other things. But the point is, there are districts in this state, locally in this county, who have a plan, who had a plan. We never had a plan. We still don't have a plan. All information gathered will assist our district's leadership to create and support the best plan under these circumstances. Your focus is the children, period. Abandoning them at home for a little bit of Zoom every day, that's not focusing on the children. Saying that you have a plan for a plan in June, and you still don't have any idea if we're gonna be back in classrooms or distance learning. But I can assure you we will continue to support student learning no matter what delivery method is used. That's not, it's not focusing on the children. I don't know what's going on. I don't wanna make any assumptions. 
but everybody needs to start doing their job. We pay the taxes, that's all we're participating for. We hire the best and the brightest, allegedly, to make sure we have plans. Let's come up with a plan. We're all in this together, but we all need to focus on what the bottom line is. We're all at home focusing on keeping our kids sane and our jobs intact and our families safe. The city needs to be focusing on making sure that applies to all of us in the most efficient, cost-effective way manner possible. So I, I just hope everybody focuses on what we all need to do going forward. That's do your jobs, do it well, and understand that we're all in this together. So that's my message.